the Northwest University, we share our research findings and innovative ideas with society in general. We make it our business to engage with our communities, to learn from and be taught by them. In fact, the Northwest University's core business activities can only be regarded as significant and sustainable if we succeed in actively engaging with our communities of interest. The socio-economic conditions in Beckersdale, uh, people live in dire straits. Uh, what we see is a replica of what is happening in the rest of South Africa. Information is power. Knowledge is power. That's what you need. So this is the first step towards seeing what the real issues are within the township. The Beckersdale Community Project started in 2011 uh, as a pilot. Uh, but a pilot in inverted commas because uh, we, we, we tried to see if it's possible to do research where we've never done research before. Beckersdal is situated in the Western Area Local Municipality uh, which is part of the Greater Gauteng Province. Uh, it is a mining town and it, is, it was established in 1949 and uh, currently there are a lot of migrant workers in the area. They came to the area when there was still a lot of economic activities and now that mining has scaled down in the area a lot of people are without jobs and therefore the area became poverty stricken. Now integrative multidisciplinary research requires that we do disciplinary research as well as interdisciplinary uh, research and having discourses among the disciplines and then after intensive research and uh, on the ground and as far as desktop research is concerned, etc. We also uh, progress towards a transdisciplinary side of, of the model where we also include people of the community and the municipality and also professionals to help us with the results that we have uh, presented to them so far. I became involved as a researcher uh, in public management and governance and I specifically looked at issues of governance uh, in the project itself. I became involved um, when I was invited. It was because of my background as a community health nurse. And um, I thought that the involvement would give me the opportunity to work within a multidisciplinary team. For me, it's always important to know the community there's so many things um, that is in relation to um, health of a person also that you can pull through as a threat to the nursing side. It became very clear that there is certain diseases that is very um, prevalent in the community as HIV, AIDS, um, TB and all others like diarrhea, um, child diseases like and pneumonia and also that there was a lot of poverty. Some of them are really reliable only on the grants, on the social grants in the specific area and that makes the problem actually worse uh, within the Pakistan region uh, because of the socio-economic factors which are so dire. In a nutshell, uh, residents were negative towards how the municipality was actually governing them that they would like better governance and that they would like to be uh, made involved in how decisions are taken and so on. Obviously we've written our papers, we've presented this numerous times to the communities, to the municipalities and it's been made available to the government so they know the concerns and from here on we want to move to solutions but these solutions need to come from the communities as well. It can't just be in isolation, the mines need to pay or in isolation the municipalities need to do this. The communities must work along with them. So the municipality must go out to the community by means of having uh, mass meetings like hotlas, imbizos, just so, so that people can be made aware for instance if we can say for instance the budget is on the table that people must know what is the actual budget for the municipality, uh, what is the IDP targets for this particular area, so that's where they want to be involved. Information is power, knowledge is power, that's what you need. So this is the first step towards seeing what the real issues are within the township and then we need to move forward from that. From there we need to 
work out what the solutions are and that's where the community must use the information, see what their peers have said, see what the problem is, because you can see within the, between the formal and the informal section there's a massive divide. We need to bring those together and I think that's what the research really is, set the baseline and from here we can actually start developing solutions. We had a meeting in the community and um, afterwards uh, there was a terrible rain suddenly um, and then um, we had to stop and we couldn't interview the field workers and speak to them and that was the people that I worked specifically with in the community um, and they said to us that it's so wonderful they really learned a lot just to be engaged just to use the questionnaires and to do the assessment help them to get a better picture of their own community or area. The impact that I personally would like to see culminating from the research project of Beckerstall will be to make sure that the people that really suffers now, that live in poverty, all have something to do to earn a living, to have hope. For the future. I'm Elise van Eden, I'm the research project leader for the Beckerstal Community Engagement Project and it all starts here.